Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Angela. In this channel, I talk about books and today I come to you with a review of a book that I recently finished reading, which is Seeds of War by Joao F. Silva. Now the author reached out to me back in February to you know offering me the arc of the book and if I could read and review it and provide honest uh, feedback or, or my honest review of the book. Unfortunately because I am a slow reader I was able to get to it only this month in the beginning of May and I finished this book and here is what I thought about Seeds of War by Zhao Web Silva. Seeds of War basically is first book in a fantasy book series so more books to come and the series is called the Smoke Smiths series that's because the main magic system of this book is based on smoke basically people who have the power to wield smoke they manifest this smoke in different ways and use it as a weapon and that's why it's called the smokesmiths because the people who can wield the power of the smoke they are called the smokesmiths in this first book we get three main POVs the first one is of a guy called Orborisis now Orborisis is a petty thief while he was doing what on one of his highs while he was raiding uh, tombs I think he gets hold of a red orb while he was fiddling with this red orb he inadvertently performs a miracle which propels him to the status of a god but he's a con man god because he has no power of his own which he knows himself he knows that it was the red orb that did something and out of nowhere a land mass is formed like an island uh, and to this island comes the uh, second pov character which is gimlor now gimlor is basically an ex uh, warrior she she's basically looking for a place to stay and she finds this island she actually been, brings a bunch of renegades and social outcasts to this place to build a community for themselves and uh, even though she is not proclaimed officially as the caretaker or the ruler or slash leader of this place she, um, you know she end up taking the reins of a leader and uh, she wants to protect its people she wants to make this land prosperous which should not be a problem because this island has a secret natural resource i don't want to reveal it you should find that out while reading the book that would mean using of this natural resource would mean they could trade and their economy will flourish and they can actually become a wealthy a well-established community a new country altogether something like that and the third pov is of this uh, mercenary he is really feared and fabled mercenary whose nickname is blood collector and his real name is red now and uh, he's at the you know point in which he just want to retire and have a nice quiet life in the countryside but that doesn't happen because he is pushed into chaos and uh, yeah, in the middle of a war or a battle basically the first character that i mentioned orboris is he is constantly badgered by extremely painful migraines and horrific nightmares and red now also has uh, something that bothers him he is constantly hearing voices of his sister his diseased sister in his head all the time you know doling out advices sometimes chastising him sometimes just giving live commentary on things that's happening around so basically her voice is always inside him uh, this world has a myth of this conflict or this ongoing conflict between mother nature and father time and how that bigger myth plays into the lives uh, of these three characters and how that impacts uh, the uh, socio-political um, and economic uh, situation uh, of this world is what the main overarching plot of this book is I love the world building it is so immersive and ambient you actually really can feel that you're in the world the creatures that are described they are truly you know out of the world you get to see the illustration of these creatures uh, in the beginning of the book so it really helps because they are nothing like a horse or a dog or a cat they are they look like you know mutants of um, extremely dangerous wild animals and some of them look like you know dinosaurs throughout the book you get the sense that 
there is more to this world than it's than is being revealed right now and you keep on reading to find out you know or discover or unearth these mysteries on your own and that's what keeps you going at least that's what happened to me because i always got this constant feeling that okay there is more to this book or more to this story than what me see i currently and i think the author is toying with me <laughs> but uh, in a good way that you know it keeps me reading keeps me engaged in the book in the story and in the plot to be honest to be frank because this is a first time kind of a first time author i think uh, joao has written other short novels but i think this this is the first epic fantasy that he is writing so i went in with very low expectations but my expectations were blown away pick us it is a very entertaining fulfilling read i would recommend this book to anybody i gave this a 5 star on goodreads and on amazon you can find out my reviews uh in the description below please go and check it out if you haven't read this book yet please buy it read it it's available for 99 cents right now i will have the author on my channel this coming saturday and uh, we will have a live discussion about this book mostly uh it will be spoiler free because it's a brand new book so yeah please tune in because you will not be spoiled for any of the plots i hope to see you guys there uh, i will put up details uh, on instagram and on youtube very soon that was my quick review of uh, uh, seeds of war by jao f silva a definite five star read